Jacksonville, Florida, and I have a dear friend with us today, Simon T. Bailey. He's been on the program before, uh, but we're so excited to have you back. Consultant to many companies all over the country. The other day I, I talked to you, I think you were in Seattle, Microsoft or something coming, going, uh, Paris, all over the world. Uh, former Disney executive and with other major companies as well, left that because you had a passion. Yes. A passion to do something different. I want to talk to you uh, a little bit about passion. I know in this DVD, you talk about how passion is everything. Yes. And uh, well, welcome our, our Wisdom for Winnie family. We're glad to have you. Yeah, it's good to be uh, here. Of course, good always here. with us. <laughs> and uh, we've been friends for many years. And uh, back when you were with Disney. Yes. And now watching you step out and live your passion, live your dream, release your brilliance, which you talk about a lot. Mm. Uh, but let's talk about passion for just a minute. Sure, sure. What, what, what are you talking, in, in this DVD, uh, you're talking about how passion is everything. Yeah, passion is the fuel or the energy of the soul. And when you tap into your passion, you literally begin to steer your life in the direction that you want to go, and you invite the passengers in the vehicle of your mind to get out at the next exit because you've tapped into your passion, and now you're going to accelerate into your future. So some people are going to have to get off. That's right. <laughs> They're going to have to get off so you can get on the highway of life and move into your intended destiny. So, like, we, like I say, people like elevators that take you up. That's right. If someone's not taking you up, when the elevator opens, push them off. <laughs> That's <Yeah>. right. <laughs> they're not going to help you get there. Uh, what are, uh, on this, uh, also, you talk about brilliant living. I know that's one of the you know, real things that, that you're known all over the world for and you're consulting with uh, corporations is releasing brilliance or, or brilliant living and you compare it to a diamond. Mm -hmm. uh, how, do, how do we live in this society, in this culture, and what we're dealing with right now uh, brilliant living. What what can you tell us to do uh, where we're getting all the negativity on the news and, and everyone's uh, people are losing their jobs and all this? How do we how do we get through this thing? First of all, when it comes to brilliant living, I'm encouraging people to upgrade their system. Now, what do I mean by that? If you walked into a smoke filled room and let's say you didn't smoke, but you walked into a smoke filled room and you left pretty soon you would begin to smell smoke on your clothes even though you weren't smoking. So something has just seeped into your clothing unaware. Well a lot of times with everything that's happening right now there's a lot of things that's seeping into people's system unaware because of information, constant negative news all around them. Right. So when I talk about upgrading your system, it's realizing how do I upgrade my thinking? How do I upgrade my language? Uh, Microsoft just uh, introduced an upgrade from Windows XP to Vista right. and now they're working on Windows 7. And, and people have to think about if Microsoft can upgrade, what type of upgrades do I need to make in my own life? The other thing when you think about brilliant living, it's also realizing that transformation is one inch from your nose. Transformation is just one inch from your nose. So you will live in what you say. What you say. Uh, your mouth is the door, but your words are the keys that unlock the door. So if you intend...